School is coming to an end for students in central Ohio, and so could the free food vouchers. Congress must act before June 30th or the pandemic voucher program will expire. 10 TV's Kevin Landers explains why school districts could be placed in a financial pinch. As a mother of three girls, ages five, six, and seven, Samantha Lowe says she depends on free lunches for her kids at school to help stretch an already thin budget. You want to feed them right, but without that extended lunch or providing food for them, what will we do? We have to cut out something. Lowe says parents like her find themselves in a financial catch-22. If you do make enough money, you don't get those benefits like SNAP and uh, Medicaid. So when you go find these jobs, you're looking like, oh, will the SNAP benefits be denied or we get cut off? So you think about that and then they, when you try to find the good jobs, they're just not out there. You're not qualified enough. So you're stuck in this economic way of being. When it comes to Columbus City Schools, the number of children who qualify for a free or reduced lunch may surprise you. All 45,000 plus of our students qualify for free meals. That's a free breakfast and lunch for every child. If you're providing that many free meals to that many students, what does that tell you about our community? So there's a tremendous need, um, and it, it extends beyond Columbus City Schools. Uh, a hungry student, whether they live in Columbus or whether they live in the suburbs, is still a hungry student. The district says it's committed to feed every child, even if Congress doesn't extend the federal food waiver in June. But how the district will pay for those meals is another question. The district says it costs $2.61 for a single breakfast and $3.95 for a single lunch. Add in the food waiver reimbursement and the district gets most of that money back. Take away the waiver for those same meals and the district makes a few cents on every meal. If the federal food waiver is not extended, it will place Columbus City schools in a financial pinch, meaning the food that's processed here won't be reimbursed at a higher rate and the district will have to find that money somewhere else to keep kids fed. Worst case scenario, we continue to lose money, then that can be dollars that can be taken away from students' education, um, general fund dollars. That cost increases because the district also provides free lunches during the summer to the city's recreation and parks. It's going to be a huge lift and a big challenge for school districts to maintain a profitable food service operation. Kevin Landers, 10 TV News. We contacted other districts in our area about this issue. Hilliard City Schools saying about 4,000 of its students qualify for free or reduced lunches. And they say that it is now planning to send out notices to parents that they may be charged for meals in the future. Meanwhile, Southwestern City Schools say more than 9,000 students qualify for free meals. And it too says it's working to inform families about having to pay for meals this year if that meal waiver is not extended.